their pens are open, and the emergency bunkers have been disabled. You suspect more sabotage? I have zero doubts, John. And where in the hell is Cabot? You think he's involved in this, John? Most well, certainly not. Do you? Let's not rule anything or anyone out. Perhaps that is wise. This time we have to stop the bleeding first. Or at least keep it to a minimum. Yes. Go. Whatever it takes. We've seen the reports here. So, no sugar coating. Just how bad is it? Wild raptors, alpha predators running free in the park. Probably hunting. Definitely hunting. And our guests are their most obvious prey. We can try and trank them. Agreed. And let's tell John to close the park down before the panic sets in. It's too late for that, Dr. Sattler. Closing would only make things worse. Funneling people together and creating bigger targets? Besides, closing the park. Hammond would never go for it. Where have I seen and lived this story before? Oh, that's right. I believe it was on this very spot. Then we'll tranquilize them. It'll work. It has to. Guarding the dinosaurs didn't work. I'm all ears. These raptors have been modified. Genetically, I mean. So, what, you're saying that they're mutants? They're unique expressions of a specific strain of raptor DNA. So, m mutants. Whoever's behind the hacks and sabotage did something to make the dinosaurs immune to sedation. Hmm. Someone is attacking Jurassic Park from within. And using its inhabitants to do it. Then that is how we'll save it. What do you have in mind, Ellie? The T-Rex. We turn her loose. Um, no. No, let's not do that. Chaos, Ian. Isn't that what you wanted? Malcolm, it saved us before. She'll want to establish dominance immediately, which means she's going to go after the raptors. Uh, not like this. Didn't John Hammond tell you whatever it takes? Well, this is what it takes. A T-Rex. <sighs> I hate this place. Angry dinosaurs. Hey, I can save everybody a, a whole lot of time and just explain what happens eventually. And, uh, and that eventually comes much sooner than anybody anticipates. Well, you know, except me.
Ah, this should all work out according to plan. Yeah, let's just squeeze an already confused and stressed resurrected dinosaur into a small enclosure and, uh, you know, hope for the best. An animal that in its time could freely roam the earth. Or maybe, maybe that's not such a, a good idea. So who was behind the sabotage and data theft? Biosyn. They are my only real competition at the moment. And I needed to stop them before they can do any more harm to InGen. And to Jurassic Park, of course. I knew they wouldn't give up after their first attempt. So then, Finch's disappearance was all part of the plan. Am I not allowed to have some surprises of my own, Dr. Malcolm? Huh. I'm starting to like you, John. So Bison didn't get to you, Cabot? Of course not. I was working a con from the inside for Mr. Hammond. John, keep this out of the room. It's not exactly inspiring confidence. But why? Because he didn't trust us. Isn't that right, John? Our previous uh, uh, difficulties were the result of an inside job. Regrettable, really. Still, I needed to be sure that no one else was involved. Okay, but why Cabot? His mother is one of my biggest investors. I've always loved dinosaurs. My mother invested on my behalf. It was just a lucky break that John was looking for someone with my skill set. She's worth billions. Quiet money. Who would ever have known? <laughs> right. So you don't worry about money? Worry about? No. Obsess over it? Well, <laughs> I confess. Consider me guilty. Which is why I think young Cabot here has become such a valued asset. Because he, he adds the greed factor. Science and art have always needed commerce, Dr. Malcolm. You can't change that reality. But John, changing reality is precisely what you've done with Jurassic Park. And only time will reveal the extent of the damage. Or the good. Ellie's right. This has the potential to be a place where people can truly learn from the past. And repeat its mistakes. No, you're wrong, Ian. They're not mistakes. These dinosaurs are beautiful animals. They deserve the chance we've given them. They deserve Jurassic Park. Time always tells, doesn't it? Isn't that true of everything? Yep. Everything takes time. And money. We have both. And now the world has a place. This place to visit these wonderful creatures. Thanks to you, the dinosaurs live. Jurassic Park lives. Or as uh, Dr. Malcolm would put it, we found a way.